I swear if I don't have a response, I'm eating croissants every day. What are we teaching people? <laughs> Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and today we're testing if this herbal supplement will hack our metabolism. Meaning, we're gonna eat something super crappy and see how bad our metabolic response is. And then, we're gonna take this berberine and eat the same crappy thing and see if it improves that metabolic response. First, let me talk about how we're measuring this. I am wearing a continuous glucose monitor. With the help of levels, we can see what our blood sugar is in real time. And now what is a good metabolic response? What do we want to see on our blood sugar? This graph is a great example. My blood sugar is nice and low and level. That's healthy. And now this graph would be a less than ideal response. It's spiking really high, which means there's oxidative stress. I'm getting closer to diabetes, gaining weight, and a host of other things that come from spiking your blood sugar too high. Now, it's been said that berberine can blunt those spikes we want to know if that's for sure. So it's time to test. First thing we have to do is get a baseline. So we're not going to take the berberine. We're just going to eat this. How big is yours? The same size as yours. This Actually, is science. Mine, I think, is bigger. Uh-oh. Daddy! No, don't give it to him. He gets this. Now it's even. <laughs> Fine. Sit. Let's grab some levels on him. Paw. Touch. Oh, good boy. Cheers. This is so, they're so good. I love these. Mm-hmm. Okay, so take a photo, we'll mark this moment in levels, so now we know. My baseline right now, I'm at 76. I'm at 92 right now. So it's about spiking from where you are right now is what we're going to look at. Which means we're going to eat this and just sit around and do nothing because even walking after this is going to affect our glucose, so we have to keep it scientific. We actually did a video about that where we ate a bunch of dessert and then saw what happened when we walked after. Very interesting, go check that out. I love these videos. <laughs> And we landed on this because we both just really wanted to eat croissants. We also chose this because it's not unreasonable for this to be someone's breakfast. You just sit down, eat a bunch of carbs, and never have an idea of what your metabolism is doing. Yeah, like bagels, croissants, bread, like a cereal. Starbucks. I'm actually really nervous doing this. Since wearing Levels, which was over a year ago, I've just completely shifted my thinking and I would never just sit down and eat something like this because now I see what's happening. It's revealed all this hidden data, seeing your blood sugar in real time. I give you props because I do sit down and I <laughs> eat this stuff, I just don't wear levels. <laughs> so it's fine. To be clear, she has one on right now. I had to convince her. Oh my God. I know. It's so good. I'm hey, no dancing. You're gonna blunt your response. <laughs> Stop! You'll metabolize it better. This is a good time to talk about mixed meals too. So this isn't just straight carbs, there's a lot of butter in a croissant, mm. and that has an effect on your response too. So if you can mix protein and fat in with your carbs, it's way healthier. I mean, not that I'm saying it's healthy, but this has a ton of butter, that's for sure. You're a nutritionist, you know that nutrition is a whole lot more than just looking at your blood sugar. Right. So we aren't saying that this is the be all and end all <laughs> if we figure out how to keep our blood sugar lower. Right. I'm done. What are you doing? Let me know if you need help. I'm already sweating. I swear if I don't have a response, I'm eating croissants every day. What are we teaching people? <laughs> Obviously don't do that, but more frequently than I do now. I'm ready for it to tell me that I'm diabetic now. Stay tuned. Just sitting around. I can honestly feel my heart rate speeding up as my body's trying to figure out what to do with all this sugar. I'm now sitting at 111. How you doing? Oh no. But I started at 92. Okay, so. great. Obviously, you have a better metabolism than me. We all know that. No, I'm just about to eat a lot of croissants. So <laughs> the reason that we're going over this the next day is because we felt so crappy after the two hours we went on a hike. <laughs> after two hours, Levels gives you a score of how well your glucose responded, and it's at 1 to 10, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. What are you dancing around? You're excited. I got an 8. Mm. Whoa. I am. Happy with that. Yeah, honestly, that's impressive. That's not what this video is supposed to be about, though. I got a five. It says moderate spike. That's a crappy response. Yeah, so you hit 117 as a peak, and my peak was 116, although... I started higher. Right. I rose 29 total, which is a lot. And I stayed up. It could be worse. It okay. could be worse. We thought it was going to be worse than that, but we were active earlier in the day. That has an effect. I got a great night's sleep. That also yeah. helps you control your glucose. Yeah. Honestly, sleeping is a huge effect on your metabolism. So how high you spike, how long you stay up there, and how high it was compared to where you started are all factors that tell us how well your metabolism is working and we're gonna try and improve that with this pill let's go 10 here I come <laughs> okay go warm it up and I will speak about berberine so this is actually from plants there are a bunch of plants that you can extract it from 
<laughs> with Bebe. Oregon grape, yellow root, golden seal, California poppy, all of those and more have this in it. Just because nature made it doesn't mean it's good though. It sure certainly didn't make these. And people have been using this for a long time and not just for improving your blood sugar. There are claims that it works for cholesterol. You have to take this first. <laughs> Cholesterol reduction, IBS, diarrhea. Ooh, I'm bringing that up because diarrhea is also one of the side effects. Wait, moving on. What? Uh, I thought this was like a vitamin. You just don't notice that you take it. Pro probably, yes, possibly. Also possibly helps with high blood pressure and weight loss, which is related to blood sugar control. Anyway, the side effects could be diarrhea, as I mentioned, and also constipation, which is the opposite, and gas, but they supposedly are not a very large amount of side effects, don't happen. That often, I also think that we should probably take a whole lot of it, maybe? Okay. What? <laughs> so, it says a serving on here is 1,200 milligrams. And what I've read online and other studies generally do 500 milligrams before a meal spread out between your three meals, so 1,500 total. This would be, if we do what they say, just taking the full day's worth right all at once. I'm nervous now, you read all these warnings. <laughs> it's well tolerated, so I've heard. You really should consult with your doctor before trying this. Yes. Supplement. We're not telling you to go just take this. But you obviously recognize we're idiots, right? I'm making it sound worse than it is, but th this is not dangerous. Oh, and it's bright yellow. You're taking two? Well, then I gotta take one. No! What? You said. <laughs> okay, fine, we'll both do two. Do we have one restroom? I just wanna make this now. <laughs> so. <laughs> Should I do one? Quick, decide in three, two, one, go! <clears throat> How many did you do? Anyway, you'll be fine. Yeah, right now I'm at 75. I'm at 81. Okay, great. So, the one reason I would think that we won't see effects acutely using it is because all the studies say that people used it for three months and then they said the 25% reduction in spice. And this has been used for type two diabetics and it's comparable to metformin, lipizide, and mm. rosiglitinone. Basically three other diabetic drugs that have been equally as effective. The reason this supposedly works is because it makes you release less sugar from your liver and also increases insulin sensitivity, which is awesome. That's a big sign of how healthy your metabolism is. Oh, and this is not the only hack I've come across. Boom, Keon Lingen supposedly does the same thing. How much have we taken? <laughs> not together. <laughs> Potentially, you could test this out in a separate video if you want to see this one too. Leave a comment what we should eat and test with Keon Lane. This is Ben Greenfields, that's how I heard about this one. And there's another one, Dr. Peter Atia and Tim Ferriss both mention a carbose, which is like a prescription one. I don't know how we'd get a hand on those, but supposedly Who's it's got magic. It. Doctors in the comments, hook <laughs> us up. Look, just eat healthy. Actually, don't even watch the rest of this video. <laughs> just get out of here. If you do have questions about eating healthy, hit me up. Oh yeah, talk to a nutrition <laughs> coach. They'll help you out because eating healthy me. is a- Talk to me, not a coach, me. <laughs> she will specifically help you out because eating healthy is really hard to do and confusing and it's different for each person. And if you don't believe me, go watch our levels video where we compare our blood sugar responses to a bunch of different foods. Okay, go check out Coaching by Christine down below. Come on over. Hashtag spawn. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and we will see you after we have our results. Stay tuned. <laughs> Wait, no, we told him to leave, remember? No one's watching. Yeah, the final results. Keep in mind, this score is between one and 10 and we're trying to make the score higher. Right. 10 is better. Okay. You went from eight with just my wonderful body <laughs> to five with berberine. With berberine. Ew. Over it. And I went from five to three. Yeah. How did, what? It made it worse. Okay. This just shows that there's a lot that goes into your metabolic health. Like, were we stressed? Were we stressed more yesterday? No. We did everything. You were, because I you were concerned about crapping your pants. Okay, well, <laughs> whose fault is that? Which, by the way, we had no ill side no, effects, yeah, so that I, was good. So even though we tried to control for everything and have the same scenario both times, it was different, and the berberine couldn't even overcome what had changed from day to day. It, it didn't work. <laughs> I just want to say this highlights to stop looking for quick fixes to your health and that there is no magic pill. Another thing is that long-term use might make a difference, so let us know in the comments if you want me to be taking this for three months and see a difference, maybe? Oh, or we'll do the other tests. We could also try out 
fiber with a meal or not, which is really interesting because that's natural. Or cinnamon is another one that Tim Ferriss talks about. And if you are looking for, oh, this is an absolute quick fix. Watch our video where we test walking after a meal because the results are crazy. I'll put that down there. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and today I'll be testing out this hack to see if I can make my body good at eating carbs. Now what do I mean by that? Well, I'd consider myself good at eating carbs if my metabolism was so awesome that I could have them without getting a 